Ubuntu, you broke my heart. You broke my heart. I sound like Michael from The Godfather, right? Fredo, you broke my heart. You broke my heart. Okay, I now use Linux Mint, the Mate version and the Cinnamon version. So what happened with Ubuntu? First, a brief history. Ubuntu started in October 20th, 2004. And on that date, Wordy Warthog was released, Ubuntu 4.10. And Ubuntu somewhat quickly became the most famous Linux-based system in the world. Think of how many Ubuntu systems are available today in this day and age. More than a few, right? Of course. Ubuntu reached its peak, at least for me. They released 16.04 Xenial Xerus. This one was so good that I had this unst installed on two machines, my main machine and a backup machine. This one featured the Unity 7 desktop. A slick looking and easy to use desktop, even for Windows users. No extensions required. Well, uh, shortly after that, about a year later, uh, Ubuntu announced they were dropping the Unity 7 desktop in favor of the GNOME desktop. I think that time it was GNOME 3, I'll just call it G3. Well, what about the GNOME desktop? Well, Linus Torvalds, who was considered the father of Linux, called the GNOME desktop an unholy mess. You guys can figure the rest out. But I had faith in Ubuntu, so I was still using Linux Mints and the Zorans, op, you know, and operating systems like that over the years. I had Ubuntu 22.04 installed, jamming Jellyfish from 2022, and you know what? It didn't crash. The installer didn't crash. All of my extensions worked. I was, I was like, dang, this ain't bad. Until several months ago, I ran some updates and I had no sound. Don't know about you guys, but I like to have a little bit of sound in my operating systems. A little jingle here, a little dangle there, just a few. No sound. I reinstalled the system. I still had no sound. In fact, Ubuntu called me a dummy output. So, back to Linux Mint. But I waited for the release. For the new one, 23.04 Lunar Lobster. I had a little teeny weeny bit of faith in Ubuntu still. After all this, forget about it. Well, guess what? The installer crashed. Twice. Thank you very much. Not. So, here we are with Linux Mint. This is the Cinnamon Edition. Now, Linux Mint was born back in 2006 with the code name Ada, which back then it was based on Kubuntu, but over the years it changed just like everything else changes. And really these guys at Linux Mint, they have done an excellent job of surpassing Ubuntu as a potential Linux desktop for the masses. I still say Chromebooks and Chrome OS is the best for the Windows masses. But if, if that's not for you, I totally get it. Then Linux Mint may be. It's right up there with Zorin OS and Chrome OS Flex, my current Linux gold standard. So originally Linux Mint was based on the old GNOME 2 or G2 desktop and it worked pretty good. Well, when that one expired, they came out with the Mate version, a modified version of the GNOME 2 desktop and I've been using it ever since. Can't quite explain it, but there's something about the Mate desktop and the Mate menu. It just works. It's simple. There's nothing to fix. Period. But for today, I'm using the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. And this is a slick looking desktop. It's easy to use. It's easy to install. The installer has never crashed on me. Twice. I like it. I still like Mate, but this ain't bad. Now, this is slightly slower than the Mate versions and the XFCE versions of Linux Mint. And if we look at the Linux Mint website, it says here that the Cinnamon Edition is the most popular version of Linux Mint. Cinnamon is primarily developed for and by Linux Mint. It's slick, beautiful, and all that good stuff. The Mate vision, uh, version is a classic desktop environment, which is a continuation of the G2 desktop, which was Linux Mint's default desktop from 2006 to 2011. 
It misses a few features and its development is slower than Cinnamon's. I really don't mind because Mate runs faster, users, uses fewer resources, and is more stable than Cinnamon. Finally, they have the XFCE version. This is the lightest out of all the three. This one has been out, uh, this desktop environment has been out a very long time. And as it says here, it's extremely stable and very light on resource usage. All three are good. Cinnamon is slick. Mate and XFC, it's more on stability. And like I said, the Mate desktop works. But Cinnamon, you know, this is okay. I think this one may stay with me for a while. And if I ever get tired of this, I can just delete it and install the Mate edition of Linux Mint. Oh, how the mighty have fallen, Ubuntu, where art thou? Not here. Goodbye, Ubuntu, and hello, Linux Mint.